aviation geeks like me gonna have a flight in the DHC-1 chipmunk uh, a lot of you may have had a air experience flight in one of these when you were in the air cadets uh, was used as a trainer for the RAF uh, great little plane and aerobatic as well a two-seater um, enough power to keep it going fixed undercarriage and dual controls so as an air cadet you could uh, fly it as well and have a bit of experience this one here is sat at Carnarvon Airport and it's in the British Army markings so let's jump in the cockpit and take off and get it started okay basic sort of layout in the cockpit um, Attitude indicator, pitch for climb and descent. Artificial horizon, speed, uh, generally cruise about 90 knots. Um, obviously revolutions per minute, power, altitude, clock, compass, uh, side slip indicator, oil and oil pressure. Okay. So, what I've done is I've set up camera to go to the areas I need. It is a cold day here, so I'm going to put the pit at heat on. Let's get the battery on. Master avionics, get that on. Generator on. Strobe light's not going to bother. Uh, nav lights I will put on and taxi and lights as well which is on the wing one side of the wing okay throttle and mixture and your brake okay so get the mags on and get them ready for starting her up we have a fuel switch down on the floor and have a fuel the fuel indicators are on the wing. And you see we've got a full tank there. Jump up to the right side, fuel and everything is on, so the engine now should turn over. There we go. Artificial horizon settling there. Back to the pilot view. out so uh, there you go no need to put the flaps down for this takeoff I'm not carrying a passenger or anything else there's no real extra weight in this aircraft brakes are off it's already rolling under its own power see my arm RPM going up now whoops that was a uh, a bit too heavy on the uh, pedals. Gar nose is already up. We're going to take it up to just over 20% on the end. We're off. Touch the brakes. Brakes back off just to stop the wheels spinning. And in front of us, um, heading now towards the Menai Strait. trim the aircraft down a bit because it's climbing on its own quite rapidly. I'm going to bring the RPM now back into below the red line. Here we go. Speed now, dropping back down to 100 knots. And come around and fly over Carnarvon Airport. really nice to fly which is why it was great for taking air cadets up if you did fly in this as an air cadet you had to put the parachute on which basically 
the straps between your legs and everything, you could only just walk to the aircraft. And climbing up the wing and getting into the back was uh, not the easiest, to be honest. And I always remember the safety briefing that uh, if something goes wrong, we'll open the canopy under your straps and jump out and aim towards the rear of the wing. Something I was uh, overly comfortable thinking about, but thankfully nothing went wrong with the, uh, the chipmunk. Really reliable, sturdy aircraft. And here we go, we're now um, coming back over Carnarvon where we just took off from that runway that you can see down to our right hand side. Climb in slowly and about 95 knots. And as you can see, my compass 18, so we are flying directly east 180 degrees. Carnarvon Airport down here, and as I say, if you had to jump out, jump out and aim for the back of that wing there, so you'd go down and wouldn't hit, hopefully, the tailplane. Do a bit of a uh, low-level pass this time down the across the runway. Got the two um, wind turbines down there, which are really on the, um, are really located at Carnarvon Airport and then behind it inland you can see the caravan park. And um, what we'll do, we'll come down the runway, past the tower and have a quick look at that caravan park make sure nobody's sleeping. I know, it's not real, Mark, but tough. Okay, so I'm going to cut back right on the power now. Bring her in. Nose down, heavy nose down. I don't want to get up to 140 knots if we can help it. She's quite slow to accelerate in the dive, which is great. Helicopters there for the um, offshore oil platforms. Power now on full. Over the caravan park. And up. And nose back down, really losing speed here. You can see you're getting close to a store. Look at the caravan park down there. As you can see, it's just a quick takeoff and quick flight in the chipmunk. So climbing, got loads of power on now just to make sure that we had speed after that climb. And yeah, it's a real uh, in this simulation, this chipmunk. It's made by Cam Sim uh, Simulation. And I have to be honest, it's uh, a really nice and well done chipmunk. It flies really nicely. Great detail on it. You can't put a rear passenger in it, which is a shame, but also that's not the end of the world. And then what we're going to do now bring it back in for a landing. It can do loops, it can, um, it's, it's aerobatic. So, 
left the light on all the way throughout the flight for taxi and it will act as a landing light as well. So cut back on the power. straight between Anglesey and the North Wales mainland. There it is, heading off into the distance. Gonna come along now and land along the runway with the two wind turbines. So nice and low now. Speed's okay because we can bleed that off before we land. See the beach there. to our right, the caravan park, basically cut the power to minimum now. Speed is fast for this landing, but we'll bleed some of that off. up the centre of the screen in front of you, so I'm coming in at a slight angle so I can see the runway, a bit of power on again. We are really slow now, which is great. The aircraft at slow speed handles well. Power's cut. 